There he is. Oh, sorry. Dude, that thing is insane. Look I'll put it in a little bigger bag. Bunch of this guy's been out on my tank. Pond. Oh, the different fish. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. I currently cannot see. It is super bright, but you guys, we are here. We are at Top Shelf Aquatics. As you guys are going to be able to tell from today's title and thumbnail, we are going in here. We are looking to buy a new fish for the 90 gallon. This is going to be awesome. We honestly haven't added anything to the 90 in quite some time. You guys are going to see my video before this, and that is going to be my coral shopping spree. And I mean, that's the most coral I've ever bought in one purchase. So it's awesome. We had a lot of fun doing that. But now we are going to have a different kind of fun. We're going to look at some of the fish inside of Top Shelf. Hopefully we can pick out a nice little new guy for my 90 gallon that we originally bought from Top Shelf. So you guys, we're going to go in here, take a look at all the fish. I'm going to show you guys all the fish. Let's see what we can pick out for the 90 gallon. Let's go in here and do this thing. What a store, super organized. The fish, the coral, everything in here is crazy. Don't even let me get started about the people working in here. Amazing people working in here. Let's start to look at some of these fish, see what we can kind of pick out for the 90 gallon today. There's a lot of variety to look at. These little things are super cool, whatever they are. You got a little tusk. Dude, that guy is so cool. So cool, bro. The little tusk in there. Oh yeah, he's got the red. He's in there, he's just, bro, there he is, bro. Man, that turns into this. That turns into this beautiful fish, dude. Oh my goodness, look at those teeth. Jinx. Bro, they got like blue teeth. Yeah, Jinx, where you owe me yeah. a soda. Now you owe me I a said coral. It first. Dang, I owe a coral. All right, what do you think is a good fish for the, the, the I reds? think you should get a, you know, a stingray. It'd be a nice addition. Yeah, that would be cool. That would that, be cool one day, maybe when we're on Paul's not, level not and we have a freaking 4,000 gallon pool pond full of saltwater fish. Maybe we can talk then, all right, bro? There. Get we'll get there. But we are here to look for a little fish for the 90. There's a lot to look at. I have no idea what we're gonna get, bro. It's, it's this is hard. Yeah, there's we a lot. Have a big selection. Big big so. selection. Too bad some of these beautiful fish. You guys know him from Nemo, of course. The little scar-faced fish. I don't remember. It's like, it's like, it's like a or something. I don't know, but he, he was like remember. a big. If you remember. Yeah. <laughs> the Morris Idol. Yeah. If you guys remember what he was named in Nemo, comment that down below. I mean, so it, as the, you should, bro. We got the Morris Idol. With got, the Morris Idol. Like of course, Nemo, we got the Nemo's. A whole bunch of clownfish. I got Dory, the hippo tank, on the other Morris. side. We have Royal Gramas somewhere in here, which is uh, the little purple and, and yellow one that's yep. there. We got, uh, like, this guy right here. Sorry. Oh, oh even oh, there Yeah, there he is. So these, get, these also come in, like, X, XL, right? Uh, yeah, Isn't I don't like have XXL, any right now, yeah. Gramas, those um, are pretty cool. Look at this sea urchin, he's got anemones on the back of it. I mean, um, hermit, hermit crab, he's got two anemones on the back Dude, of that him. That thing's cool. Yeah, that is pretty crab. cool, bro. Look at that thing. Those are the first ones I've ever seen. I ordered them this week just because I thought they were sick. Dude, that thing is sure so enough, cool. He just walks around with an anemone. I even have the cleaner shrimp. The you cleaner all know shrimp. You know him, you love him. Of course, of course. Yeah, I got two of them. The little porcupines. I don't remember any other fish in there. So I mean, cool. Dude, is this like some kind of grouper? Oh, yeah, that one's really that cool. Thing I was is actually going to take sick. it home, but I decided not to. Yeah, I mean, that's a Pelenny grouper. That thing is really, really cool looking. Dude, he just changed colors. I swear he did. Yeah, he's pretty sick. Did he just change colors? No. He got like darker? Oh, yeah, he probably got darker. It, okay, it kinda, I was just zooming in. Right Most there, fish yeah. will do that. That's pretty cool. Oh, and then the, the Emperor Angel as well, which is right here. Of course, you guys, these, these completely, completely transformed. Changed, Very cool. I've showed you guys that a couple times. Yeah, here's a bigger one. Starting to change. He's still got like that Thank look. You can't have one of those, unfortunately. Unfortunately, because it's not really safe. Because you guys can tell a lot of the really pretty fish There's you can't one. have. You would think you got fish swimming through a coral reef. You're thinking of all the bright, crazy, cool fish. Well, fortunately, something like this guy right here is just not nice. Most of the time, a lot of these fish that come in, they've never tasted a piece of coral in their life. The second they do, they're like, holy crap, that is delicious. Let me eat all of it. Pretty much, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got such big pieces in his tank. Is that, that a powder brown? Yeah. Oh, no, that's a, that's the, is this powder brown or is it the white, the blue yes. Yeah, that thing is beautiful, bro. This is a hybrid between a blue, uh, powder blue and a white cheese. I think dude, that weird. thing is so cool. You got these little tiny blamingis, dude, so Those cute. Are these guys. Cool, and then when it gets bigger, Those are so on. All right, dude. Yeah, one day we could get this, and then this one day I think it's and they get bigger, way bigger than that. 
Dude, that thing is so cool. You take the lid off and they all just freak out. Like if you put your hand in here. <laughs> Bro, oh what did I say? Yeah, no, you're not so lying, dude. So we keep dude. that lid on there. <laughs> uh, so I'm guessing all these fish are some jumpers, huh? Yeah, for the most part. Besides the clownfish, but we just didn't have any rivers. Gosh, dude, I love clownfish. We have a lot of clowns right now. See, like, what do you? What is your take on having more than a pair? Uh, you can do it. Uh, I would recommend adding them at the same time. Um, well, and you either want to do right? like two, or you want to do like seven, twenty, yeah, you know, yeah. something like that. Um, yeah. Those guys are really the cool back there. They, they will kill each other. Yeah. This thing is so cool, bro. A dragon grass? Yeah, you don't want it. Dude. Yeah, he'll mess up your uh, inverse and he'll get huge. Oh, look at that. You see him with his mouth open? Bro, he's so cool sick, bro. They get huge. Dude, I like those guys, too. Those are pretty cool, too. So we've been walking around the fish section for like 20 minutes. I mean, when I walk around here, I just have no idea what to get, what to look at. I, there's so much stuff here. It's crazy. If you guys live in Florida, live in Orlando, come to Top Shelf, you guys. It is, it's, it's, it's magical. I'm telling you. You guys probably aren't gonna get the VIP tour like of the farm like I did, but no, we can it's, do that. Yeah, if we're man, not busy. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, you know, ask Colson. He'll take you guys on a little VIP tour. It is something you guys truly do not want to miss if you are ever in this area. It is crazy back there. The coral, the fish, everything is insane here. I think we have found the fish that we want. And we got the little nasos, dude. Oh my goodness. So adorable. So cute, bro. Like, you can never look at a fish and be like, oh man, like, that's so cute. No, these are cute. I like that guy. All right, keep an eye on him. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on him, dude. He's right here. Actually, I don't like him. I like him. I, I want that one. <laughs> yeah, he's the fattest one, I think. He's the one right. At the bottom. Just right here, right here, freaking out. He's flared up. Yes. Yes. Let's go. All right, you guys. So that is it. Look at that guy. This guy one day will probably outgrow my fish tank, but that only Paul calls for one thing. Paul Cafaro. Maybe one day we'll have that, and he'll outgrow my tank nice and healthy in a couple years, and we got to go bring him over to Paul's Pool Pond. Do not want to miss anything like that on this page. So you guys, make sure you guys have that notification bell smashed. This place is insane, everybody. <laughs> Look at all the different fish. We have a long drive. We do have a long drive. What are you doing over here? Catching some little firefish? Yeah, some good old purple firefish. Cool OG right there. That's what he just bagged up. These purple little firefish. Here, let me bag. Here, dude, bag in the bag. You gotta bag it. Sounds good. <laughs> All right, this There's is way overkill, but we don't really have it in between. So, so cute, dude. He's gonna be comfortable in the way home. Let's just say that. Right, right? Need some more water. Yeah. Get some more water in here. Oh no. Oh, we're, no I mean, okay. if you want to catch one of those flamingos and throw them in there like you never did, you could do that too. Yeah, can't do that. <laughs> we're not sitting here trying to get Colson fired today. No, there's no. <laughs> what? Oh, 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 what are we doing here? Whoa. You wanted me to throw in a little I said I no. Because he's already he's trying to get some I'm watching, water. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. <laughs> See, he swam right into the container, dude. He wanted to come home with me. That's the only reason I said it. All right, so then we get the oxygen. We got the oxygen going. So first, ball. Hey, man. What'd you get? It's like we come, we come here together, and then like we, we just vanish from each other. I haven't so seen Paul in like an hour, bro. It's been like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of interested to see what you got, bro. Four months. Dang, you're yeah. going at it. Huh? I got a nice little tang, I like dude. it. I, I like have it, it. it dude. My first tang. Oh, well, a little blonde yeah. mango. <laughs> That's awesome. A little twist. So I, I mentioned, Paul, this tang is going to... Yeah. It's one of the very big tangs. So eventually this guy's going to outgrow my tank. Pond. Right in the pond. Right in the pond. Perfect. Yeah, maybe I could uh, Dude, put that's another reason to just do angels and stuff. You could go swim in there and not feel like a Oh, I know. I'm going to literally vibe in there with my Dude. scuba mask on. That'd be the, the thumbnail would be amazing. You know? yeah, tell me how you're going to, like, are you going to, like, go in there and, like, try to communicate with these fish? Yeah. If so, how are you going to do it? Like, when you swim up to them. I'm going to go down there with a Ziploc bag over my head. Look at how stinky cute he is, Dude. He's in my video. A little blonde oh meso. The whole box yeah, spin, huh? Dude, yeah, it's how many hard to do fish did you get, bro? I got four mono. What did you get? You got stuff too. I, I haven't know. seen you in an hour. I know, man. It's <laughs> it's hard. And when you come here, dude, you just you just get distracted. I what just got my little test got? fish. A small oh, mono. Are they still in the tank over there? No. You Maybe. got all of them. There's two more in there, right? There's two more. There's two more. Show me what they look like. What monos. Oh, monos. Yeah. This is what Paul got. 
I don't know what they look like because I can't see in the bag, but we're gonna quickly show you guys. Okay, it's by the 40, so. They're in here. With the, the, you probably saw them earlier. Oh. With the test. Oh, dude, so they do look like little pockets. Yeah, basically. Is that what you guys keep like in your little allergy systems? Uh, yeah. Back there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so they, I've always wondered what kind it of. It helps raise were. the uh, nitrate and stuff in the tank because our corals are always sucking out the nutrients. So those are good. Raise those are, like, those are yeah. kind of a good fish to have. Uh, they get big and they'll knock corals over, so that's why we keep them in the sun. Well, that is what Paul got. Those are actually going to look awesome. Yeah, they will. They look dude. pretty that's sick in a spawn. Awesome. They get like. They get so sick. And they get big, like like, like that. Kind of like Paku. Yeah. No, seriously, like they are kind of like a yeah. Paku. So they'll look pretty cool in the pond. Those... Oh, yeah. Dude, he's so that's sick. Good. Look at how beautiful this angelfish is. Like, yeah, holy yeah, crap. Still shopping or what? No, I was just kind of just throwing some filler in there, showing everybody how awesome this place is. Yeah, it really is, it is. right, dude? It's a whole nother planet. I told him it's magical in here, bro. Look at this flamingo. Oh my goodness, dude, that is a huge thing. That's small? Twice? He says these things are twice the size of... Paul, you need one of these in his pond. Dude, look at that fish, you guys. That thing is beautiful. That thing is like the size of a dinner plate. Over here we just got some other little tanks. Doesn't do justice with the light right now. I don't have the, the filter on. And then over here you got this crazy, crazy looking. I think it, I want to say it's a wrasse. Hey, you got that little trigger fish that Paul had. We actually are not just done yet. We need to add one invert. Why not grab an invert while we're here, right, Colson? Yes, sir. I mean, uh, we're gonna cool, go for. Yeah, the coolest one. Oh, dude, the little red dragonette. Bro. Just wait a little bit for him. I know. Uh, uh, yeah. Not yet, but I mean, that thing is too small for my tank anyways, but maybe in the 20 gallon one day we could add one of these little red dragon dragon nets. You guys can't really see him that well, but he's in that corner right next to that Antheus. All right, that is an Antheus. Yep. You get I'm this learning, down. You get this dude. Down, yeah. Which um, you want? Let's go with the biggest guy. That guy's pretty chunky. Yeah, on the this guy right here. Or this guy in the corner. Whichever one you think, brother. I'm going with this one. Yeah, I'm going with him he looks, too. He looks like a king. Dude, you know? dude, he was sitting on that rock like this is my rock, baby. This is the way we catch these guys. We really just scoop. Scoop him up. Let me get a look at him really quick. Oh, there he is. Oh, sorry. Dude, that thing is insane looking. I'll put it in a little bigger bag. But it's beautiful, bro. That is amazing. I forgot you have a long drive. <laughs> Yeah, he forgets that we got a two and a half hour drive home. It is, uh, it's no fun, but I mean, I guess when you're leaving here with a whole bunch of coral and a whole bunch of fish, it's awesome. Let's see, Jed says he's got something for me. Let's see what he's got. Black Widow Nem? A little Black Widow? Oh, this one, right? No, that's a Chicago. No, this one, right? No, this one, right? Over here. This one, right? Just a little, a little further. <laughs> I'll take it, dude. I think that's gonna wrap it up here. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And with that being said, Big shout out to Colson. Thank yep. you for helping me out. Anytime. Jed, here. Oh, that's awkward. That was awkward, that's bro. Awkward. All right. I'll make it a little bit better. Right? Thank you, brother, for all the help today. My hands are sweaty. Hope you like that. You're supposed to like, rub it into your heart, bro. Whoa. <laughs> so we're checking out right now for the nasotang, the blood shrimp, the black widow, and then we also got hooked up for some all for reef. Let's see what this fish is going to run us as far as the blood shrimp as well. All right, Colson, I'm not seeing nothing. Oh, I'm not seeing nothing. This screen's broken right now. You can come around. Yeah, you can come around. We're coming around to see what we got. We got the Black Widow, the Naso, and the Blood Shrimp. Oh, dude, I just, just spent like 700 bucks, bro. You yeah, guys can help me out I mean, a little bit more than that? Yeah, a little. I don't want it. Take it. I don't want it. You don't want it? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Well, uh, you guys see that? Like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed so you guys are in tune when we drop bangers like this Top Shelf visit we had today. Again, thanks to the boys. Thank you, Top Shelf. Anytime, man. So, you guys, we are back. As you guys can tell, we are back because my 20 gallon is full of coral. Go and check that out if you haven't finished watching this video or whenever you finish watching this video. Make sure you guys don't miss out on that one because that was a banger. We got a whole bunch of coral for the little 20 gallon, which is eventually gonna be moved over to the 90 gallon, where Mr. Naso Tang is also gonna be heading once he's done with his quarantine treatment over at Tommy's. So what we are going to be doing tonight, since we could not make it to Tommy's, uh, Tommy recommended me getting a five gallon bucket, running an aerator in there, and leaving the Naso inside of the bucket. Tommy is going to be here first thing in the morning, 
Bright and early, 8 a.m., Tommy said he will be here. First, we're gonna check the salinity of his water, compare it to ours, and get his acclimation perfect so we cause no more stress than what's already going on. I'm sure he's probably a little stressed out from that long car ride home. So uh, let's do that. I'm gonna test the water, see what his water inside the bag is reading, salinity-wise, because we don't wanna put him in something that's you know a little higher or a little lower, cause shock to the fish. We're also gonna float him in there for about 20 minutes, make sure he gets the same temperature as that water inside of the bucket. And then we're gonna get him out, I'll show you guys a better look at him, and then we'll put him inside of the bucket. He is eventually going to outgrow that tank, and then you guys already know what that means. He'll be swimming in the PC saltwater pond. How can I forget? I, I actually almost threw this guy out in the garbage. I totally forgot that I got this guy and the Black Widow anemone. But what we got right here, you guys, we have gotten this super crazy bright red. This is called a blood shrimp. Super, super beautiful. Paul, I think, has one inside of his big reef tank. Dude, and this guy is studly. He's huge. So we're going to get this little guy. The one thing we don't need to quarantine, we are going to be putting this little guy, you already know, right inside of the 90. There, oh, there we go. That is more like it. My little cleaner shrimp in there is about to have a friend. Hey, buddy. Look at the contrast on that shrimp, dude. He literally looks like a little lobster, but bright red, white legs, and white whiskers. He is a stud of a shrimp. So cool. I'm trying to do this all with one hand, you guys, so please, please bear with me, but here goes Mr. Blood Shrimp. You guys, we need a name for him. He seriously is super, super cool. So you guys, we definitely need a cool name for that guy. Look at how bright red he is. Welcome home, buddy. We do need a name for him. I'm not lying. We need a really, really cool name for that little red shrimp. Let's think of a name, buddy. Let's get that Black Widow bubble tip in here. Hopefully, the clownfish will pair up with it. Fingers are crossed. We've got Mr. Naso flowing. Here's a little Black Widow that is going to be going on right inside of the 90. We've got a Black Widow over there inside of the 20, but we needed one. For the 90. Let's hope those little suckers will pair up with this one. We can't really decide where we're gonna put him because anemones have a mind of their own. They will kind of just plant their feet wherever they like. I mean, seriously, such a bright bubble tip anemone though. We've got our Black Widow bubble tip anemone just hanging out right there. We've got our little blood shrimp. He's kind of uh, claimed this little cave right there. We've got one more thing to do and that is to match the water chemistry of the naso. It is just about that time where we could finally get the little naso on inside of his five gallon bucket. I've uh, been messing with the water, adding some RO to my salt water because his salinity is reading at about 30. My salinity is reading about 35, 36. So we had to add some RO water into that bucket. Let that sit for a little bit, make sure it's reading about 30, 31. So I think it's just about time to get the little guy inside of the five gallon. And then Tommy is coming first thing tomorrow morning to pick him up so I will end this video tomorrow after Tommy picks up the little tang but let's get him inside of the bucket and then I will show you guys him in my hand and then we'll quickly put him inside of the bucket I just want to make sure I don't get any of that water inside of here because he is going to be sitting in a bucket and not a fish tank we don't want the ammonia to be high here he is we're not going to mess with him too much so on little buddy gosh I cannot wait to see you inside of my big old fish tank dude Absolutely adorable little fish, guys. This is a blonde naso tang. Now, there's two different kind of nasos. This is a blonde naso tang, so the difference between these and the regular one, they're gonna have that nice orangish blonde looking dorsal fin that's kind of going down the whole back of them, but he is so cute, and I cannot wait to see him inside of his big old fish tank. So long, little buddy. I will see you in the morning. But I hope you guys enjoyed that little trip we had over to Top Shelf to pick out that little tang. It's our first tang going inside of the tank, you guys. So very important to me. Super excited. I cannot wait to actually get him inside of the tank. I know we've got a long, probably two, three weeks from the quarantine at Tommy's, but I've, uh, I've got my faith in Tommy. He's doing great inside of the bucket as far as I can tell. We will see you guys in the morning when Tommy is coming to pick him up. It is bright and early. 
We are still in the PJs. We got Tommy. He pulled up to pick up the little tang, of course, like I was mentioning last night. And then tell me about how long do you think you'll be keeping this little naso? Uh, should be somewhere around four or five weeks. Okay, so you guys heard that four or five weeks. Let's hope maybe Tommy can work some magic and it's closer to three. Who knows, but I will definitely keep you guys in the loop of that whole process. Like I said before, make sure you guys have those notifications smashed so you guys do know whenever we do move that little tang inside of the 90. Tommy, take care of him, right? Yeah, will do. So long, buddy. So long. <laughs> so with all of that being said, everybody, hopefully you all enjoyed today's adventure. Well, I shouldn't say today because it's been about two weeks since we've gotten the Naso Tang. You guys, he is doing great. He is actually just getting ready to be moved on over to my tank. So you guys, like I said a hundred times in this video, make sure you guys have those notification bells smashed because we've got a banger coming up. we got a whole lot of fish for that 90 gallon. So you guys, I'll wrap this right here. Make sure you guys are sticking around. With that being said, I will see you guys on next week's episode. Peace out. I'm